Hey guys, welcome back to APM Scootering. Um, we're going to go over a couple things today. Um, I did some behind the scenes work, but uh, we're going to do a little bit of some grips. I'll show you how I put them on. Uh, I have the PWK carburetor installed, and I think we're going to try to fire this up. Uh, so uh, get ready because uh, here we go. Okay guys, um, so I have these NCY grips, real similar to the ones on my wife's bike, uh, except for blue, matches mine, and here they are. So take a look. One hole is bigger than the other. If you don't know, one hole, the bigger hole, is for your throttle tube, and the other hole is for your standard grip okay so I'm going to show you how I do this what I do is good old hairspray my wife's she let me have this one and I'm going to spray it down in the tube kind of shake it up a little bit and then I slide it on and twist it twist it as I slide it on And then I am a stickler, so I want to make sure the NCY is facing up and facing straight on here. Do you want to get a shot of this over here? So there it is, and then here on the NCYs on the outside. Um, I really like these grips. Um, to check with Mike's store, I don't carry these. Uh, NCYstore.com, my buddy Mike. And then uh, I'm going to look at my wife's. She has the same kind. This hers is purple. I know I showed them before, but um, I really like it. Now, you know, how quick does this dry? I leave it dry overnight. I'm not going to put the throttle one on because for obvious reasons, if I need to make any adjustments, I'm not, but that's the NCY. My wife just cursed under her breath. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so enough of that. So we're going to go ahead and look at the carburetor here. Now, I didn't want to bore everybody with, um, you know, running a cable up and over, um, but I... I went through the last video and showed you a couple things what I ended up finding is the best carburetor or the best man uh, intake manifold happened to still be uh, the Naraku uh, and the reason was the other ones kind of sit higher they have a different profile the NCY non EGR and EGR so I stuck with the Naraku and there's still if you take a look here this is the bitch about these scooters this part right here but Really, if I take my finger under, it actually, I know it looks like I'm raising my finger up because I'm bending my hand, but it actually, it actually is just under the bar. But that creates a little bit of an issue if I go and try to put a, um, a, uh, uh, air intake on. Because, you know, I like to use uni filters, so... When I, what I have is I actually have two different intakes I was using. And I have in, um, air intakes from NCY, which I'll show you here in a second. And believe it or not, Nibby, which is kind of like a cheaper brand, but it actually works out well. So these are the intakes, the air intakes. So this is NCY. You can pick this up from Mike too. Um, I'm not an NCY dealer, which is why I'm not touting my own stuff. Mike is, he has got a lot of stuff on his site. Um, 
check it out. But if I go through here, I can, I don't know if I really want to force this through right this second, but you just got to clear the ridge and then I can line this up to get on here. So there, it's that bolt that actually gets in the way, which I might actually move that, but I can put the thing on here and then rotate this and still get it on and have my air intake coming out that way. So that's the way I had it on originally. Now it's actually pushing through, so I'm gonna pop it out right now. I don't wanna get all that in there because I gotta I will once I start tuning it, I'll pull one on, but see it's a bitch. Get out of there. It gets hung up on this stupid little hook under here. There. There's like a catch hook right here under this side. It's because it's that bar is so stupid. They could have designed that thing a little better. Um, and then I have the the Nibby one. And what's neat about the Nibby one is that goes through here. It actually hooks onto the um, starter motor bolt. So like that. And it actually, imagine it's going under here. I just don't want to do this yet again because it is a pain in the ass. And it hooks right into that bolt right there. So it holds it stable. And it's actually a little bit of a shorter intake, which does affect your tuning. So, um, but enough of that. I just want to see about getting this thing fired up. Now, on here, I put a Bang Jing. I'm going to come over to the other side. <clears throat> Throttle. things smooth as silk uh, but you're gonna see see excuse me the problem with these things much like um Mike was having with the NCY I would have loved to use that one but that one's enormous too um, now that I did this I probably could have used it it probably sticks out my finger in there I'd say half an inch but still it's a, most of the bar is on there uh, and I went ahead and did temporary adjustments because I want my cable slack to be good. Um, I want to be able to feel it. And if my wife takes a look under here, you can see it opening up. Can you get out shot inside the hole there? I don't know if you can. Yep. So you'll see me pull it. Nice smooth. And the way I have it set up on the uh, Bangjing throttle is there's different settings on it. And again, I mean, if anybody wants to see it, I can show them again. But it's basically just like your throttle. It just has a bunch of different openings uh, up here for your throttle cable. And depending on how short a pull or a long a pull, I kind of was it kind of determined it for me because of the cable. But um, worked out really nice. Nice smooth pull. I'm gonna stick my finger in there real quick. Sucker goes all the way up, no problem. Comes down, really smooth. Uh, I'm impressed. Uh, and then uh, I got my Makuni uh, fuel pump, gravity fed. Um, going to the uh, intake, and then my fuel. And I use the little black zip tie tricks. And I'm gonna tell you why I use those. Most of the time, the clips don't work or shit. So, little black zip ties have never failed me. Um, it's a trick I've been using for years. I like using them. Uh, never had one pop off, and they hold. I just get them underneath the lip, and then I tighten it up. Tight. I use small zip ties so that I can get it tight. So, right there, you'll see. And then right there is a good picture of one. It goes right under like the first lip. And I make sure that I push uh, my tubing all the way down through. And that's 316's tubing going over a pretty big hole. So I do lubricate the outside of the, uh, the hole first and then I slide my tubing over. It's still hard as hell to get on. Uh, but that's how I do that. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some... Loctite. I told you we're going to do a couple different things. 
I'm actually, I don't normally like to temporarily put my battery on, but you know, I, if I gotta test it, I gotta do it. So I'm probably just gonna end up sitting the battery here and then temporarily hooking it up and seeing if I can fire this thing up. I mean, it hasn't been running, I don't know how long. So it's it's been a minute. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see it. I haven't heard my bike in a while, so kind of kind of a little fired up to hear it fire up. <laughs> so, all right, so here's what I'm going to do. I have, I'm going to get some Loctite, and I'll show you why I'm getting Loctite. Just give me a second. stuff that I used to lubricate the cams when I was on the big board kit. It's a special cam grease and it looks like that. I don't know from the cold, but it looked like it exploded. And that's disgusting. It's all over the freaking table. I gotta clean it off. Alright, so kind of like chapstick, right? Blue Loctite. And what I'm gonna do, oh yeah, see that stuff? Ugh. Nasty. Um, And then what we're going to do is, if you guys remember, I made a separate ground. This was the wire that was once tied into my black battery terminal wire. I made my own ground. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I happened to find a bolt hole that was completely unused. And now, I'm going to sucker twist. You can see that if you guys remember, I cleaned that ground off with my special ground tool. It has blue Loctite on it. Tighten it in there. And there you go. So that's the actual other ground other than the battery cables. And you remember this, I'm sure you do. There. Put the 15 amp mini back in there. Ooh, you gonna bend it while I'm doing it. See that? You don't want to do that. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna get another one. I just think pushing unevenly on it. I can hear my dogs yipping. If you guys got dogs, I got. I got yippies. I used to love big dogs. Then we got Yorkshire Terriers. I love them, but they bark. Good guard dogs, though. Just not going to do shit to anybody. Let you know if they're there. Damn, damn, I'm going to 
expect that to be that tight. There we go. Uh, yeah, that sucker is in there. God, I hope I never blow that. There you go. All right, and I have a waterproof cover. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys the Shuray charger have over on the other side. I'm going to skip back and forth to between seats here. I'm going to have my meter. All right. I don't know if you can see this. So. Right now it's in store mode. All right, it's been in store mode for a while. So it says it's in charge status now, so I just want to see. Usually it's really quick because I haven't done anything except for keep it in store mode. And when I had it in store mode, it was put my bat, oops, battery things there. Um it was already at like, I don't know, 13 or 14 volts. So, I'm gonna take a quick measurement here. to 13.8 13.8 volts climbing so uh, that's pretty doggone good for sitting here for so long that was in store mode so that is the advantage of the charade chargers um, genius chargers work too um, but I just wanted to show you that if anybody was thinking about the battery I have no problems with this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unplug it. It's got a It's got like a, a neat little plug in. Now, working in the uh, auto motorsports industry for as long as I have, these batteries are becoming popular. I actually seen them for your car. They're like 2 grand or something like that. But these little suckers are expensive, uh, but they're worth it. Um, I I love it. I had no problems with it. So let me, uh, I'm going to just disconnect it. Yeah, it's going crazy. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Um, plug the little hole back up. I got no beef with this little thing. So what I want to do is just kind of temporarily set it here. So one ground. In case you guys didn't know, ground is black. I'm go doing it the other way.
Again, I'm doing it with my hand. I do not want to strip the threads. You uh, hand me that, uh, just that green Phillips. My wife's getting good. She's becoming quite the scooter aficionado. <laughs> She's laughing at me. temporarily tighten these down. I'm going to do another quick voltage check. So. You guys see? 13.4. Okay. So, I just got to hook, come back over to the other side, hook my spark plug up, and I got gas, uh, gas in the tank. <laughs> um, I got my keys so one thing I am going to do though is I'm going to go over once I get the spark plug in and I'm going to double check I haven't even messed with the air fuel so I'm going to do that let you quickly get an idea on that and I'm going to bring this down and he's going to plug right in I don't think you guys need a lesson on a spark plug but when you snap them in you hear it once and then it pops in but I see here I gotta get that out of there there you go so all right so a quick check here I'm gonna turn the ignition on just to see hopefully it shouldn't nope boom Turn signal. Holy shit, that's the LED one. <laughs> All right, so far so good. My wife's like, she just asked me, are you gonna have this ready? She's eager to ride her new scooter. I don't blame her. Her scooter's pretty good. All right. Um, I'm looking for, I have an actual special screwdriver I use for tuning. Ooh, it's a long, thin one. What the hell is this? You see it there, Rob, laying on the floor anywhere? It's a really long, skinny one. What is it? Screwdriver. It's a special screwdriver I use. It's got a super long and thin. Are you just pointing down at the floor the whole time? No. Like <laughs> there. Snap one one. Um Yeah. So you have your air fuel screw, which is absolutely in a horrible freaking spot. Ooh, there it is, I got it. So I'm gonna close it all the way up. Right, so that's closed, and I'm just gonna go. Let's see. One. I'm gonna start at one and a half, and let's see. I'm well, we gonna go through and make a checklist here, make sure everything is where it needs to be. 
make sure nothing's in the way. It doesn't appear to be. Nothing under the bike that the tire can kick. I got so much shit laying around here. Uh, Alright. Remember, this is new for me, PWK. Pop the choke up. You want to pop over the other side there. Let's see, guys. You're seeing this for the first time. I have my reservations, but let's see. See if it shuts off. It did not. Holy hell, that sounds actually pretty good. Can you hear my decompression tube gurgling? Can you hear it? And it's starting to climb a little bit. Yeah. Alright. All right. So I'm letting this warm up a second. Um, it's talking to Mike. Mike, you're watching this. I mean, you can see it. I don't don't have much going up. It'll gurgle. Um, I'm talking to Mike as I'm talking to you guys. But that's that 171 Tata. Give me good shit. Um, So a decompression tube is supposed to decompress your engine. Um, so you'll get a little oil that comes up here. And then kind of goes all the out there. Now I haven't had it rise up. I mean, normally you can see the mark. It normally gets up about here. Okay. So see how the throttle does. I'm so eager to ride this thing, but tuning it, I'm kind of looking forward to that. So, <clears throat> I'm debating whether or not to do a quick tuning session here, but so I'll let this thing kind of warm up. It's been sitting for what, two months? More than that. Three months? Three months? So, so far, I don't see any air in this anywhere. I'm trying to see the throttle response. What? Well, yeah, definitely needs to.
that's turning the throttle and leaving the original. Try to bring it down. I'm doing that by ear. Now, I did check my valves not long ago and they're in line, so I'm not worried about that. This sounds pretty smooth. All right, well, I don't want to get into a whole thing right now with the tuning. I just wanted to get this popped and started for you guys. And I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm really happy. Now I wonder if I'm just going to shut it off like I did before. All right. Set it back, turn it on, grab the brake. Quick throttle it and see if it shuts down. Yep. Yeah, we need to do some tuning. Yeah, it's running. I'm going to run a little, a little lean, actually. Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, guys. Hey, I just wanted to do this live to see if everything worked out. And so far, so good. The next video I'm going to do is um, I'm going to tune it. And I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the tuning by... Uh, by ear I believe just uh, um, tune it by ear and then from there what I'm gonna do is uh, use the e-tron ALMS air fuel sensor uh, air fuel ratio sensor and then we can actually see because I have a display so we'll have the display up and you'll be able to see uh, when I'm tuning and whether I need to adjust any of the jets or adjust the needle jet. Um, so yeah, any of the jets. And then I'm going to try to, when I tune it, I'm actually going to put on the, uh, the air intake. And I don't want to tune it, obviously, without it. Uh, so I get a better idea of what's going on. But pretty damn cool. I'm pretty happy. happy with the carburetor so we'll see um, okay well anyways enough me rambling on have a good night and uh, I'll see you uh, in the next probably two videos will be tuning and as usual if you have any questions about anything or whatever just make a comment I don't care if it's good or bad it's fine comments are good participation is good all right so um, have a great um, Monday night and uh, see you probably tomorrow and Wednesday. All right? So take care, guys. Good night.